Leos! This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're not sure what those are, um, there's a link in the description box that'll help you figure it all out and then maybe which is best for you to watch in regards to your readings. So this is your general reading for the month of February. Um, we're going to look at what does it mean overall, like what, what can we expect, um, the challenges you're going to face, let's see, the vibes that you're putting out, and then kind of like a general area of focus. We're going to look specifically at work, career, and finance. We're going to look at your love life, whether you're single or coupled. We're going to do both. We're going to look at your personal development or like kind of like emotional stuff. And then I'm also going to pull a crystal of the month for you. For those of you who don't follow me on social media, you might not know, but I'm like obsessed with crystals. I think they can really help you out with all of the energies that you're dealing with on a month to month basis. So let's get started. All right, Leo, what can you expect in general? as far as the energies go in the month of February 2018. You might not feel like you're able to communicate effectively. You might not feel like um, you have the right ideas. You might feel like you're not getting the, intuit the intuitive guidance that you need in order to do the things that you wanna do. You might feel a little bit stagnant. I think Capricorn are also had a similar energy. Um, so what are the challenges that you'll be facing? Um, well, the challenges are going to be related kind of to these karmic issues that we experience in the month of February. You might feel like, okay, so this is the month that karma is supposed to play out for everybody, right? If you watch the Cancer Moon video from the beginning to middle of January that I put out, it talks a lot about how um, we're going to start to see karma playing out. And you might be like, I'm not seeing it yet. You know, and when you're expecting that, like you, when you're expecting your own good karma to pay off for you, it could be a little bit frustrating, but they're like, just because you don't see it doesn't mean it's not happening. Things are happening behind the scenes that maybe you can't see. You might have to be patient in order to receive your blessings or um, to sit there and laugh as you watch somebody else fall, even though that's not good for your own karma. So I wouldn't recommend it. Um, what kind of vibes are you putting out in the month of February? You're putting out a very stable and um, dependable vibe. People look at you, they're like, wow, this person's got their shit together. They're so organized. And you know what? This is interesting because as a Leo myself, um, you know, a fire sign energy, my uh, rising sign is Virgo. So people who know me know that I kind of just like throw my stuff all over the place. I'm very creative. I've got like you know, my papers all over my desk, but people who only kind of know me from work stuff, they're like, I bet your house is meticulously clean. I bet that like it's entirely spotless, which is not the case at all. Um, I wish it was the case because my Virgo side, my Virgo rising does give me anxiety when I see that things are a mess, but my Leo side, you know, my sun sign, I'm just like, ah, because I'm doing a thousand things at once. But so people are viewing you as really having your shit together, whether you do or you don't, which is great for your career sector because um, people are more inclined to trust you then. They're saying don't expect massive changes in February. Um, even though changes are going to occur for you, it doesn't look like they're massive or like entirely life changing in this month. You might have to wait until March or April for those. Um, so what is your overall area of focus or like a goal to work on in general for the month of February? And then they're accepting life's changes, but in divine timing, as well as appreciating everything that you do have. So both of these are heart chakra colors, but in different ways. Okay. So opening your heart to allow changes in, maybe some of these changes aren't coming very fast for you. Um, that you're hoping for, like all the hard work that you put in, like maybe you're not, um, you're seeing some success, but not as much success as you would like in the month of February. That could be because uh, your heart might not be entirely open as big as it should be to receive those, okay? Then the other thing is um, gratitude journaling. You know, if you're appreciating everything that happens, everything that comes through, 
then you are more inclined to attract more of it. And I kind of recognized this in myself actually yesterday. I was like, you know what? I don't feel like I did a lot of paid tarot readings today. And um, so I wasn't like, I wasn't like vibrating at a high rate in order to attract more, right? Um, and then I went and I created like a little um, chart, like a little spreadsheet. So I could look week to week, and this is also going to help me with my taxes for next year. Um, how many readings am I doing every day, like on average in a week? How much money am I making this week versus the next one and stuff like that? And actually, it helped me to express more gratitude because I could see a difference from week to week, like depending on how much work I put in outside of just doing my paid readings, you know, like doing my um, YouTube videos and keeping up with my Facebook, blah, 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 stuff like that. So anyway, um, to bring it back from that tangent, sometimes as the day goes on, if we don't gratitude journal right away, it's like we forget that all these awesome things happened because you're just like going with the flow, one thing to the next, one thing to the next, and then and then we're forgetting. So anyway, the goal in general um, is to make peace with the changes that you have and then express gratitude for those. And, you know, it's also like even the shitty things that happen in our life, let's express gratitude for them because we learn something from it. Like the the worst things that ever happened in your life are often the best things that happen in your life because they force a change. So isn't this kind of cute? You know, she's appreciating everything, but it looks like a crystal ball. I love that. Oh, I made, um, I wish I liked the artistry more on this because I would make this my profile picture. It's, she's a blonde with a crystal ball. How cute. Okay. I'm not that self-absorbed. Sorry. Um, looking at your work, career, and finances for the month of February. What does it look like for you overall? So it looks different than the past in a good way. <laughs> well, that's good. Um, they're like, you won't be disappointed even though in February you might not be achieving the results that you want um, 100%, but you're showing steady growth and progress. So that's great if you're working in like sales or commission. Now, you might not always feel that... Um, you're at your like optimum strength. But that's just because there are certain things that you're doing um, that like other people would expect you to do different ways. Or maybe you want to do like a project at work a way um, that you think is a more efficient way to do it. But then like your corporate organization is like, no, this is the way we always do things kind of a thing, you know, or maybe, um, if you're in a relationship, it's like, I want to invest in this and your partner is like, no, <laughs> it's that kind of an energy. And so with all of these naysayers, it does kind of bring down your vibration. It makes you just start to feel a little bit negative and like, you just be like, you know what? Fuck it all. It's like that meme, you know, it's like of the guy throwing the paper and then he's like, just kidding. I need these. And he's gathering them up. Right. That's kind of your energy in regards to career work and finance in the month of February. So um, it's it's really challenging to do things, you know, with a lot of love in your heart, which is why that green heart chakra energy is there. Um, I did pull that as a challenge is it's hard to speak with love about career finance and stuff like that. It's hard to really be expressing you know, your joy and appreciation for your situation. Um, what kind of vibes are you putting out though? And they're saying you're putting out the vibe that you're a hard worker. And so that's good. And I don't know if you remember, we kind of just got the general energy. There was also a moon that looked a lot like this. Like it's got its shadow side, but then it's got its bright side. So it's like your intuition is definitely guiding you but it's also forcing you to look at the darker aspects of yourself in regards to work, finance, and career. Okay, so the goal or overall theme for work, career, and finance is to clear out your psychic debris. Um, and this is coming from your root chakra. It's like there's some stuff here, some limiting beliefs and stuff, some negativity that you're harboring and you're carrying it on from month to month in regards to your work, your career and finances. This could be in regards to your debt. So um, I don't know. What is that girl's name? Christy Marie Sheldon, maybe. She has a really great meditation about clearing abundance blocks. 
that would be something as a Leo that you might want to look up in the month of February because that'll help you a lot. It'll help you to release any unwanted emotions and you know negativity ideas that we have about this sector of our life so that we can start like allowing more flow of um, money and joy and success into our life, okay? So um, I will try to remember to put that in the description box below this video. My bad if I forget, sorry. I'm blonde, I have ADD. I can't remember anything unless I write it down. Okay, so in regards to your work life, and that, my darlings, is a limiting belief, right? I should have said, I try my best to remember <laughs> to put things in the description box when I say I will. <laughs> okay, let's, let's divine that into reality, yeah? Okay, so your love life. If you are a single Leo, what does it look like for you overall in the month of February? Okay, so here's the deal. There's some stuff in regards to your love life that you don't want to look at or think about. No, that could be an X for sure, um, but it could also be like, I'm just not in the mood to try to manifest what I want. What are your challenges? Well, you've got a couple of them. The challenges are to feel successful in whatever you're doing with your love life, whether that's dating, um, whether that's just like being okay with being single, and then really to feel confident in whatever decision you have made surrounding your love life energy. Now, what kind of vibes are you putting out in the month of February in regards to love? Um, you're putting out this vibe that you've been hurt, you know, or that love disappoints you. And so uh, that's kind of hard for people to approach. So if you're trying to attract love, that's maybe something you want to shift. They say a lot of you are just putting out this vibe that like you're not ready to date. You might have taken down your Tinder profile and you're kind of going within and trying to figure out like what is it you want. But then as you're saying that, as people are maybe um, approaching you saying, hey, what do you think about coffee? Or would you like to go to dinner with me? You're like, mm, I just need like a break. And I've got to figure out what it is that I want. But then you're just like, no, I actually don't even want to think about what I want. I'm just, so, you know, if you're in that place of mind, that's okay. But if you actually do want love, you have to get real specific about what it is you're trying to attract. Now, what is your overall goal, single Leos or area of focus? And they're saying, um, if you were to eat healthier food, you would have an easier time manifesting someone into your life. And that sounds weird, right? Like, how are they related? But I don't know if you see that, like, so, okay, a couple of things going on with this card. Heart chakra color, right? Opening up your heart chakra. But this person, she's like, love is coming into the bowl and then you're eating it. Hmm, isn't that strange? So if you eat food that is good for you, this is a way that you're showing the universe that you love yourself, that you care about yourself, okay? And if you're showing the universe, I love myself, I am worthy of love, I care about myself, I am worthy of care, other people will be attracted to that. Sounds crazy, but that's what your, that's what your cards are telling you guys. So, I guess if I want love, I better start having salad. <laughs> okay. For those of you who are coupled Leos, what do I see for you in the month of February in general? Um, you can't really defend yourself, you know, like whatever it is that you're feeling like you need to walk away from, whether that's the actual relationship, whether that is um, a feeling that you have about your current relationship, like a resentment you need to let go of, you really have to passionately decide like, um, and this is intuitively guided too, like you'll just feel it that it's time to move on from it. It's just time to let it go. Um, what are the challenges that you'll be facing? Well, it's challenging to be happy about that sometimes because even if you're not walking away from your partner, okay, because that would be really sad if you were. If you loved them but it wasn't exactly what you wanted, that would be fucking sad and it'd be hard to be happy and get enthused about it, right? So that's some of you. Now, for others of you, to move on from your resentment, that's also hard. And it's hard to be happy about because you have this fear then that you're stupid, right? So if your partner did you wrong one way or another or um, broke your trust or something like that, you, you have to decide to let go of that resentment. But there's a fear there, even though you want to release it, even though you want to feel better on a day-to-day -day basis, that 
it could happen again, right? And, and so that's the thing about love is it's scary. <laughs> They're saying that if you can do this, though, if you decide to stay in your relationship or whether you decide to leave it, you know, because you could be of either camp here. Um, what it's saying is positive changes are coming and you will experience more stability and happiness and just like comfort in general if you are able to do that. Now, um, let's see. What kind of vibes are you putting out to your partner? That you have a lot of emotional stuff that you're harboring, that you're kind of just stuffing, that you're not bringing to the surface, and that you need your space. So, that's interesting. I think they kind of know what's going on. Now, what is your overall goal for your area of focus in regards to your love life? And they're saying reclaiming your power. So, this is about, you know, using that intuition, that third eye, like we talked about, um, and deciding... What am I going to step away from? Am I stepping away from my partner? Am I stepping away from an emotional um, issue that or resentment in our relationship? Am I stepping away from a behavioral pattern that I have within our relationship? And you're just coming back and saying, okay, I am responsible for what I do next and for deciding how I want to feel about this. So you get to decide to be powerful and um, be positive and be mindful or not. Your decision. Okay. So, in, rego in regards to your uh, personal growth in the month of February, what is the overall energy for Leos? Um, that will be successful. Um, and other people are going to look at you and they're going to be like, wow, you're a totally different person than you were last year or the year before. Like, holy shit, you really got yourself together, <laughs> you know? Like, wow, you're so much more emotionally mature. Like, you've... God, you're becoming like much more successful in your career. Like you really, you really got it going on. Oh my goodness. Like they're actually standing back and going, bravo, bravo, Leo. We admire you. I mean, people admire Leos anyway, but not typically for the effort that they put in in their personal growth. It's just because you're so good looking or because you're so charming or you're so funny or you're so kind or so creative. Like it's like your inherent natural abilities or character, you know? So that's kind of cool. Um, in regards to the other things going on, it's like you're finding better emotional balance and you're getting really, really focused on what it is that you want instead of kind of just like sitting back and waiting for things to happen and then hemming and hawing over you, what you want or not. Like you're getting this crystal clear focus and you're setting goals and you're about to achieve them. So awesome. Some of you will also become more psychic as well. I mean, everybody, believe it or not, everybody is super psychic. It's just a matter of um, knowing how to use it and channel it. Okay. So what are the challenges that you will be facing in regards to your personal development and growth in the month of February? Um, being honest with yourself. <laughs> true, true. And um, also trying, you know, like this defensive energy. And it's kind of like what I was talking about with coupled Leos, where it's like, okay, what are these fears? Why am I holding on to them? I need to recognize them as a fear as opposed to a truth. And then decide whether I want to carry that with me or not. Okay? Now, um, your overall goal. Oh, I forgot to do your vibes. Your vibes that you're putting out, even though we already kind of know what those are. <laughs> um, that you've got your shit together, that good things are coming for you. It's only a matter of time that you're following your intuition. That um, even though you can't see that blessings are coming through for you, you have a lot of positive changes coming around the bend, which we talked about in the beginning. Like, it might not hit exactly in February like it does for a lot of the other signs, but it is coming. And, you know, his back is to the ship coming in, and his back is to um, the dolphin, which also represents positive change coming. And, you know, like emotionally, everything's really calm and clear. Um, but here's the deal, is that... Um, so he can't see that, but anyone else looking at him can see that things are about to move and shift for him. So... That's cool. <laughs> okay, so your area of focus or your goal for the month of February in regards to personal development. And we get practicing visualization. So it's saying practice and believe in the power of visualization, right? Because like this card said, 
we can't see what's happening. It's ha it's happening. Other people can see it, but we can't. So, you know, you might want to ask someone to read your tarot cards for you on a personal level. Whether you get a reading from me, from somebody else, like a friend, you read them for your, you probably don't want to read them for yourself. You want to have somebody else kind of tell you what they're seeing. Um, you could have somebody do any other kind of reading, rune stones or whatever. But to give you an idea here of what they're seeing for you might actually be helpful because then it'll help you to visualize it. Making a vision board would be something like that. Um, ultimately, if you can envision what it is that you want, you can expect that it will be coming soon for you. Sorry, hold on a second. Okay, so um, last thing. Your crystal of the month is black tourmaline. Tourmaline comes in other colors, um, but black is what you want this month. So in regards to the tourmaline, what does it do? It's like the I'm rubber, you're glue, whatever you say bounces off and means sticks to you. That's what the stone does. <laughs> it repels other people's energy that is negative and sends it right back to them. The other thing is um, it protects you from like what do they call those rays coming off of like computers and electromagnetic rays and microwaves and shit like that. So this is good to actually put like underneath your TV or next to your computer on your desk, something like that. Now here's the deal. Tourmaline, a lot of people don't know this about tourmaline, but this is not one that you want to keep on your body. Some people wear it on a necklace. Some people put it on their skin. They meditate with it. Bad idea. And let me tell you why, because it makes you fat. If you're trying to gain weight, good for you. This will work. Promise. <laughs> but if you're not, keep this off of your skin. Um, or, you know, like put it in your office, but like don't put it really close to you. <laughs> but it, so anyway, Leos, here's the deal. This helps you with healing. It will also help you, um, I guess the only... There's a lot of things that it does, <laughs> but I guess the only thing I would put it on my skin for, and I would leave it on there for like very short amounts of time is you could put it on scars because it does help you with scar tissue. Anyway, um, helps you with creativity, growth. The list is like endless. So this is the specific crystal that I pulled for Leo's for the month of February. If you want this crystal, it's on my website for you to purchase. If you want to go to your local crystal store and get one, that would be great too. That would work just fine. If you already have one, that's great. Um, but, and if you don't know how to use crystals, I have a playlist called crystals. I don't think that every single crystal video I've ever made on how to use crystals. I actually want to set this down because I don't want to get that. Um, <laughs> I don't think that every single video I ever made for Patreon is in that list yet, but I do think there's two that'll give you a good idea on how to start. So, um, that's your reading and I will see you in a couple, in like a week or two for your February love readings. Bye Leos.